Hello, everyone, and welcome to the training. I'm super excited to have you here, and I really value your time, so I want to make sure that it's super actionable and you walk away with some awesome new strategies that you can use to grow your business um, in the next year. And I wanted to share with you today what I did in 2016 to triple my income. And the reason I really wanted to do this is because when I got started in business, I didn't really know exactly what to do. And because of that, it led to a lot of time wasted, trying new things, trying to figure things out because there's really no roadmap. All of our businesses are different. All of our goals are so different that there wasn't one blueprint that I could follow that was going to help me grow my business. So when it came to that question, awesome, I know what I want to do. I know what I want to build. How do I do it? There was no answer to that. And that's okay. I think sometimes the way you find out what works is by going through it. And so I wanted to really share with you how and what I did so that maybe you can try these strategies as well and see if you can get some really great results. And it was funny when I first started thinking about doing this um, training, I thought back to, you know, is there a roadmap? Is there one solid way that you can do something? And I think the answer to that is really no. You know, Thomas Edison wanted to create light. He had no idea how he was going to do that. The way that you do it is by trying, testing, failing, and then trying again. So hopefully with this training, I can keep you from failing too much and really give you some solid advice uh, that's going to help you grow your business and generate more income for you. So to get started, um, the first thing that I want to do is go over a quick housekeeping tip. I'm going to send a follow-up email and it's going to have all of the links that I mention in this training. I'm going to cover a lot of different resources and I want to make sure that you get the links to all of those. And so I'm going to follow up with you. So if you don't see them listed on the actual slide, hang tight, you're going to get them um, and they're going to be really, really valuable. So just know that you'll get all of those links and resources coming up. So Let's get started. Um, I want to tell you a little bit about Marketing Solved and the launch. So Marketing Solved came about in 2015 and we really didn't know what direction we wanted to take it. I wanted it to be a couple different things and I played with a couple of different ideas and we, we had kind of pulled the trigger on different, I guess, paths for the business. Uh, but we really didn't know what we were going to be doing with it. So I knew I wanted to share my business, my expertise, my strategies. And so we wanted, we finally decided uh, that Marketing Solve was going to be based primarily around teaching small business owners, entrepreneurs, how to use marketing, online marketing, digital marketing strategies to grow their own business. We wanted to give them the training, the tools, the resources so that they could do it themselves. And we had a lot of people at the time who were coming to us asking us how to do it. And so I decided, hey, since I can't serve everyone one-on-one, -on -one, I'm going to create these programs. And that's what we're going to use Marketing Solved to share. So Marketing Solved actually launched in 2015, I think our first blog post was published in about maybe July, and our first program actually launched in about October. So to back up a little bit, let me tell you a little bit about my story in 2015. So I'd been in digital marketing for quite some time, maybe six or seven years, and I was client-based, which meant that I was taking on clients and trading dollars for hours. So I had acquired some phenomenal clients. You may have seen this slide before. Uh, I know I've used it in a couple different trainings. But what I was doing was I was working one-on-one -on -one with really high-level clients. And on the left is the San Francisco Fire, which is a grid league team. And they're also a television show, which is awesome. They're a group of phenomenal people. And then also uh, we've been working with Stedman Graham, who uh, is also an extraordinary man, businessman, marketer. And so what we were doing was trading dollars for hours. I was capped. There was no way I could take on any more clients because I was literally at a point where 
it was so many people were coming to me for business and I couldn't help them. And so that's really where Marketing Solve came from. It was, oh my goodness, there's so many people that need our help. How can I serve more people? How can we provide more value without taking on individual clients? And so the solution for us was Marketing Solve. So hopefully that gives you an idea of where the idea and business model for marketing solve came from and it continues to evolve and grow um, but when we were able to move forward again late October of 2015 was what I would call our official launch and we did pretty well as far as revenue from October to uh, December um, because we were still of course we still had clients so we were still generating some pretty significant income um, but we were about 50,000 at the end of 2015 with this brand new business so now I want to tell you how we tripled our income um, and tripled is an, a conservative understatement but I know for a fact that tripled is a is a very solid confident number that I can give you so now I'm ready to jump in and tell you exactly what we did are you guys excited hopefully yay okay so the very first thing we did in 2016 was attended an event so in 2015, I remember we were sitting with my husband and I said, you know, I think this year I want to invest in us. I want us to learn more and surround ourselves with, you know, other people who are on the same path as us. And I would like to start going to some events or maybe chamber meetings and start looking at opportunities to grow and learn and how we can scale our business. So I told him that there's this woman that I had been following online. Her name is Allison Maslin. If you've heard of her, you know she's phenomenal. She's a great, great woman, super smart, um, and just a very intelligent, experienced woman. So I'd been following her online, and I saw that she had her event coming up in January, and I wanted to go, but we have three kids, and my husband was working a six-figure full-time corporate job, I mean, 80 plus hours a week. So it basically boiled down to, we couldn't get babysitters, he couldn't get time off, there was really no way we could make it happen, which was fine, I was disappointed, but just figured we would find something else. Um, so then, on Christmas Day, my amazing husband, he actually surprised me, and here is exactly what he gave me. So he bought us tickets to this event. I'm going to hold back the tears as I tell you the story just because it was such a big moment for us in our business. So on Christmas Day, my hubby prints out the thing from Allison's event and basically had taken care of all of the arrangements. He went ahead and bought the tickets. He got us airfare. He got us a hotel and a babysitter. babysitter. So he believed in me and he says, and you can see it right here. Whew. Hold on, guys. Okay. 2016 is your year. And so we went to this event. And guys, I can't tell you enough how much this event changed my life. So the reason Allison does this event in January is so that you can really create a blueprint for your business for the rest of the year. And it's such a phenomenal experience one to be somewhere where someone can give you solid advice on how to move forward and how to scale your business and how to grow and how to create systems and and really give you all of those nuggets that you just can't get on your own and I went ahead and decided that this was something that that was so important to us and we were gonna move full forward with our business so I don't want to give you a ton of of insights as to what's at the event. Honestly, I would love to invite you to come to this event. And I have a, a an exclusive invitation that I can share with you guys. I can get you a discounted ticket if you'd like to attend. It's in San Diego in January of 2017. Um, and I will link to this for you as well. I'll give you a discounted ticket. I highly recommend that you come to this event. It changed my life. And I'm going to tell you how in just a second. So... At this event, again, it's all about how are you going to move forward? What are you going to do? How are you going to grow your business? Her hashtag is how are you going to reach your pinnacle? And so we really took this to heart. We wanted to make a difference. So at one point during the event, Allison gave us this exercise. And again, I don't want to go too much into the event. I'd really rather you just came and made the investment in yourselves to be there. It's just, it will blow your mind, I promise. Um, and so 
there was this exercise and Allison said, you know, there's, there's an unlimited amount of options here. If you could do anything you want, if you could have your life and your business work out any way you want, you know, write down what that looks like. So we did. I wrote it down. My husband wrote it down. And then two seconds later, when we were done, she says, now write down what's keeping you from getting there. And so, of course, you go back and you write down what was keeping you from getting there. And after this exercise, it's a very emotional exercise to go through because you really have to take stock in what you want. You know, where do you see yourself? Where do you see your business? What do you want? Those are some big questions to answer, um, especially in a room full of other entrepreneurs and not in a nice, quiet, comfortable space. So my husband and I looked at each other after this exercise and we looked at what each other had written down and it was the exact same thing. What we wanted for ourselves and for our business uh, was to grow, was to be full time in our business, was to spend more time with our kids. And what was keeping us from doing that was my husband working this full time job. He worked for Stanford School of Medicine. He was paid incredibly well. He worked like a crazy person. I mean, he was working 80 hours a week. He was commuting two hours each way. It was literally killing him and it was killing me. I was home with the kids working on growing this business and we were just stretched to the max. So at this event, again, you guys should just come to this event and meet me and experience it for yourself. Um, But we had the realization that we are not living the life that we want and we are ready to make a move. And so we hired a coach, actually hired Miss Allison Maslin as a coach, which was a great, great investment um, because she believed in me. And we made the decision at this event to bet on us. And literally the day after we got home from the event, my husband quit his job and we went full time on us. And here we are cleaning out his cubicle in Palo Alto at Stanford. And we made the decision to bet on us. And it was scary. And it was it's still scary to know that this is all on our shoulders. But we knew that the quality of life that we had was not sustainable and so now we live by the beach we totally moved we flipped our life upside down i volunteer at my daughter's classroom every tuesday Uh, we go to the beach a couple times a week and so things have totally changed for the better um and our income significantly increased the following month so my advice to you is if you guys are really looking to make a change in your business you have to make the decision to do it You have to decide to do it. And the second thing I think you should do is join us at the event um, in January so that you can have that same confidence in yourself to bet on yourself. So after January, our lives totally changed. Um, But now let me tell you the second thing we did to really grow our business. The second thing I jumped into doing was using Pinterest. And if you've followed me or if you're uh, somebody who's in my tribe, you know how much I love Pinterest. And let me just show you why. Okay, so these are uh, some stats from Pinterest. We get about 38,000 referrals of traffic from Pinterest every month. Okay, that's a lot of traffic. And you can see that compared to Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, it's a significant amount. And then we also get tons of subscribers. This was just a subscriber snapshot for one funnel that we have um, using Pinterest. So the reason we did this is because basically I was doing what everybody else was doing in the market. I mean, the ads are everywhere. You see that everybody basically had the same strategy. It was you create your program, you create your webinar, you get people signed up, you sell them wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, except that's not what happened for me. You know, I did everything everyone else was doing. We had one program that we launched in October and it did not sell like everyone else was saying their programs were selling for. And I really struggled with that because it's hard not to feel down on yourself when you don't get the results that you want. Uh, But I'm not a quitter and I saw the power of Pinterest. And what we did was totally flipped our strategy and said, okay, cool, let's try to sell our program from Pinterest instead of Facebook. Because we're competing with I mean, thousands and thousands of other people on Facebook, but Pinterest is pretty untapped right now. So by flipping our efforts to Pinterest, we saw a huge, huge return. 
Our program started selling at least one a day and it's totally automated and I'll talk about that in a couple slides, but that's why for me using Pinterest and looking at other alternatives to make sales and to grow our business was a really great strategy. Again, you know, I said in the very beginning, there is no roadmap. There's no path that's going to take you exactly where you need to go. You really have to try things out and test different avenues. So maybe Google AdWords isn't working. Have you tried Facebook ads? Maybe Facebook ads aren't working. Have you tried Pinterest ads? Maybe Pinterest ads aren't working. Have you tried Instagram ads? What are you doing differently that's going to help you hit your goals? These are some things that you should think about because what works for one person isn't gonna work for someone else. So I'm sharing the strategy that really works for me and really works well for our brand and it continues to perform better every single month. So after we had this great success with Pinterest, I decided, hey, I need to create another program and I need to show people how I did this. So I created a program called Pin Funnels. And again, that helped us elevate our income because we were able to sell our existing program. And now we had added another program that we also sold through Pinterest and we were able to generate more income sharing this strategy because no one else was using it and no one else is doing it and so it is a very successful program so pinterest for me was the second thing that really changed my life and changed my income which i think is super important when you're in business okay so the third thing we did was i started doing webinars okay and i'm totally anti-webinar if you know me I don't like to be in front of the camera. I like to be behind the camera. I like to actually not even use my camera and just sit behind my computer screen. Uh, that's where I'm comfortable. But of course, webinars just, they do, they take it to another level. So I started doing webinars and these were really just to provide value. And of course you can promote them to collect subscribers and then you can make your sales through a sales funnel and a nurture sequence and things like that. Um, and I will tell you right off the bat, I was terrified to do webinars, terrified. I remember my first one, I was shaking, I was so nervous uh, and it was kind of a hot mess. It, there was no audio for a while. My daughter woke up from her nap and joined me and it was really a learning experience. But the thing about webinars are, is they do really help you to connect with people. So if you haven't tried hosting a webinar or even a live stream, maybe you wanna give this a shot and see if you can make it work for you. Now, I didn't just do webinars to promote my products. Uh, what we did was we wanted to look at doing webinars that would, of course, this is business focused, so we were trying to increase our revenue. How can we utilize this strategy of webinars to generate more revenue, more income? So we did personal webinars, which would promote our products, and then we would do affiliate webinars. For example, I did an affiliate webinar with lead pages. So anybody that made a purchase from lead pages was able to, I was able to earn a commission on that. So I got an affiliate commission for bringing people to the webinar and then obviously people would make a purchase and then I would get paid on it. So that's a really, really great way to generate additional income, especially if you use a service like Lead Pages. When people sign up for that, it's a monthly recurring charge. And so now I get a monthly recurring affiliate commission from people that sign up through my Lead Pages affiliate link. So webinars were a really great way to do that. And then joint webinars is kind of the same thing as an affiliate, except I would partner with people who haven't audience who want to learn uh, about what I do or what we can offer and then they get an affiliate commission. So it's the same thing. You guys can both offer a product uh, or you can do it an affiliate way and there's a lot of different opportunities there but it's a nice way for you to get in front of a brand new audience of people who are also interested in what you do or what you're selling. Okay so we're going to move on to the fourth thing that I did and that was using automation. Now I'm just gonna start by saying I've got training coming for you in how to automate. So I'm not gonna dive into the meat and potatoes of how to set up your automation, but I just wanna tell you how this can really help you. Because when you start using automation, what happens is you free up time because you set up 
automatic funnels and automation throughout social media and different marketing channels that allow you to keep growing your business while having these things set up and running in the background. So automation, guys, is really, really huge. When I figured this out, it was mind-blowing to me because I have so much time now that I don't have to spend a ton of time with these just little things that I didn't want to be doing. So I thought I'd share with you the programs that I use and tell you a little bit about them. I'm again not going to stay on them too long and I'll give you links to all of these as well. But um, Lead Pages and Active Campaign are the two that I use the most. And Lead Pages is what I use to collect leads. It's what I use to create squeeze pages and landing pages. It's also what I use to host all of my webinars. So I never invested in a webinar software. I actually just use Lead Pages to host my webinars. I'd add a chat box and it was totally free. So instead of paying $150 a month, I'm just using Lead Pages. Uh, for me, it's way more affordable because you can also use things like Lead Digits where you can tell someone to text a number and they can automatically opt in to your email list and get something back. I use that. Um, and that's where I create all of my opt-ins. So if you're opting in for a freebie, if you're opting in for a challenge, if you're opting in for a webinar, uh, everything goes through lead pages. And then what I did was used active campaign. Now, one of the things that I did in 2016 was upgraded my email marketing software. I was using Aweber. I love Aweber. I still would be using Aweber. But at the time, they didn't have the automation that I needed. And I really wanted to move forward towards this automation model. And so because of that, I moved over to Active Campaign. And Active Campaign has the ability to create automation sequences. So just to give you a little bit of background, what I mean is when somebody would sign up in Aweber, Let's say they signed up for my Go Social webinar and they got the training. Well, then they would automatically get email sequences that followed the webinar that slowly and softly promoted my product. Now, the problem I had with Aweber, and this could have changed by now, but I'm just telling you my experience was if somebody made a purchase during that sequence, I wasn't able to pull them out of the sequence. So if they made the purchase on the second email, they would still get emails three, four, and five selling the product. And I wasn't able to find a loophole. I'm sure there is one. I'm not super tech savvy. So that was really why I moved over to Active Campaign. Um, Active Campaign is a lot about automation. So I would have my lead pages set up and I'll just give you an example of how this works. So for example, if I'm selling Go Social, I have a Go Social training or a webinar that people opt into, then Active Campaign automatically sends them an email that says, hey, here's your first email, your webinar is gonna be delivered tomorrow. And then the email would then send the following day, totally automated, so you set this up once and then it just runs through the campaign. Uh, then the second email comes the next day, here's your webinar, then the third email comes the next day, says here's the replay, and then emails four, five, and six are saying, hey, by the way, I also mentioned my product goes social, uh, you can get it right now at the special pricing, and all of that is all automated. And so if somebody made a purchase during that sequence, they were automatically removed from the original sequence and then added as a member to the program. So I really like Active Campaign for that reason. And it's been super helpful as far as setting up sequences and automation. It's a really easy program. So if you're looking for something like that, it's not Infusionsoft, it's not very complicated, um, but you can set up different email sequences for anything. So if you've got someone that opts in for a free discount code and then you want to hit them with a, a nurture sequence every month, you can do that. Or if you want them to be signing up for a webinar and you want to send them a nurture sequence that's every day, you could do that. You can have them both running simultaneously uh, for totally different campaigns. So I loved it. Okay. Pinterest automation. Uh, as you know, I love Pinterest. Pinterest is my number one source of sales. So it's really important for me to have an active profile. The problem is time is always a problem. I didn't have the time to be on Pinterest every day and Facebook and Instagram and LinkedIn and Twitter. Um, so what I did was I started using a program called Board Booster. That's it down there at the bottom. Uh, what Board Booster does is basically 
helps me schedule pins out so I can add them. And then Board Booster will put them out there for me on a schedule as I desire. And then I have it recycling through my pins. So I have a board, for example, of all of my blog posts. And I set Board Booster up to repin two of those pins every single day. So I don't have to log in. I don't have to do the repinning or the recycling of the content. It does it all for me. I very rarely log in to Pinterest for anything other than running my ads. So board booster, super helpful. Um, LinkedIn automation. So this is actually really cool. I've got a whole training coming on it soon, so I don't want to get too detailed into it. But LinkedIn for me was a really great source of referral business. So for people who are interested in services or um, maybe our monthly marketing solve program, because these are small business owners. Now I, again, just like Pinterest, don't have time to go looking for people. So I used a software that automated this process for me. Super awesome, loved it, very easy and very effective. I got a lot of emails, I got a lot of engagement and I've made a lot of connections using this automation feature. And then Instagram. So Instagram has always been one of those things that I love, um, but I haven't quite figured out how to fit it in to my everyday. So if you look, I'm kind of inconsistent with what I post. I'm working on getting better. If anyone has a solution for me, holla at me. I'd love to hear it. Um, so Instagram, excuse me, is one that they don't have a lot of different tools or third-party softwares that can do the posting for you. And that's probably why I haven't figured out how to be consistent there. So you have to post everything in real time. But what I did was I developed a pretty cool strategy and how I could create all my content, pull my content, post my content, post my hashtags, and then I use a service and it could totally be frowned upon, I'm sure it is, but uh, the service then goes around and likes different accounts that I've set. I said, hey, if you see anyone using the marketing solved hashtag, give them a like, and it does that for me, uh, which is a great way for me to be consistent, be out there, just like LinkedIn, just like Board Booster, um, but I don't have to be manually doing it every day. And I gotta tell you, a lot of times, this is why I think this is so important, so many people, and I hear this over and over and over, Again. And they say, focus on one network and just do one thing and focus on the one that works. And I got to be honest with you guys, I am totally of the mindset that the more exposure you have, the more business you have. So if I can have leads coming into my business from LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, I think that's better than just having them come in from Facebook right? Because maybe Facebook isn't the right place for me to be. So that's why I use all of these different automation strategies. So let me show you the programs I use again. I'm going to link these to you in the email so you'll have access to all of them. Um, but again, just to recap, active campaign was for my email. Lead pages is for squeeze pages, landing pages, webinar opt-ins, um, and hosting my webinars. And then also the lead digits, which I've just started using, and it's super cool. You text like 44222. You text the word solved, and you'll get uh, 10 free done for you graphics. So it's pretty cool. Um, board Booster was for Pinterest. Oh, I put Active Campaign on there twice. Obviously, I love it. Um, Autopilot was for LinkedIn. And then Instagress is what I was using for um, Instagram. Okay, so now I'm moving on, guys. I know that was a lot. So if you need to take notes, I totally get it. Um, the fifth thing I did was I created and grew a Facebook group. Now I'm going to do a little tiny plug here for my Facebook group, which is facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash marketing solved. We've got just under 4,000 members. Um, we've been growing this for a little over, uh, actually just about a year now. So just about October to October. And I love my group. I love this group. This is really where I spend a majority of my time. It's on Facebook, so it's real time. I'm interacting. I'm answering questions. I'm learning about people. I'm learning about their businesses. Uh, and I'm able to make better relationships with them through this Facebook group than I do 
in email or on other social networks. Um, I try to get everybody into the group. I really do. I try to promote it on all of my different networks and try to bring people in from all of those networks that I'm on. Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, and try to get them all in here because then I can connect with them on another level. I absolutely know that creating this Facebook group was one of the best things I did um, because it gives me a lot of opportunities to do a couple of things that I'm going to show you right now. So again, I talk a lot about relationship building and learning about people. And so I am able to host a couple of things throughout the week, what you're working on Wednesday, Mingle Monday, and then, you know, Facebook Friday. And what this does is this tells me about people and their businesses. What are they inspired by? What do they like to do? What do they, how do they sell their programs or their products? And I learn a ton from them. I get to see their discounts and their freebies and their different products and programs. And I'm like, wow, that's so cool. Like what an inspiring group of people. And so I love it for that reason. Um, the other reason I love it is because it's really great for business, guys. When you have an active audience of people, it's really simple for me to say, cool, I've got this brand new training. I'm gonna post it in the Facebook group. All my Facebook tribe gets to see this training. So I get to provide them with value. You know, I'm hosting this free 90 day challenge. And in that challenge, I promoted it to my email list, but also in my Facebook group. And so it's a really nice way for me to connect with people who maybe don't open my emails, who maybe don't follow every post that I make on Facebook, but they're active in the group because they get value out of it. And so for me, this has been really, really powerful. So if you haven't, maybe consider creating a Facebook group. It's a source of buyers, really. There's so much you can learn from people who are interested in what you're doing. There are buying opportunities. There's selling opportunities. There's ways to make partnerships and find people to connect with. Um, and I'll totally tell you, I many of you that follow me may know of Tarly's trainer. And she and I are super close. We're, we are, I mean, best friends. We are business besties. We do so much stuff together. Well, I met Tarly's in a Facebook group. I kid you not. It was a social media managers group and we connected. I saw something she posted. I liked it. We started chatting and literally here we are two and a half, three years later and we see each other constantly. We work together all the time and we've formed this amazing friendship that again from a Facebook group guys. So they're super, super powerful. Okay. Six polling. All right. Now, I wanted to share this with you because I think a ton of people forget that when they're serving an audience, they need to know the best way to serve. So what I did this year to really get a hold on what people needed, what people wanted, what would serve them the most was I started polling my audience. Again, I use my Facebook group for this, but you can be using your email list. You can use your Facebook post, Twitter posts. Uh, you can have a phone call, a conversation with people. Maybe you do mastermind groups. Ask people what they want so that you know how best to serve them. So here's a couple of examples of some polls that I did. And you can see the response that they get. Okay, when you give people the opportunity to tell you what they need, what's going to help them, what's going to grow their business, what will serve them, how they can sell more or be better, it really allows them the opportunity to get involved and tell you. Okay, so when I see these, I love that I see how people respond. Um, and so it really, again, allows you to serve. So you can see I've done a couple of different polls. Let me break them down for you. Here's one I said, I've got a ton of new training in the monthly marketing solve program that I had recently launched. And what else would you guys like to see? What's gonna help you with your business? And they said it was an overwhelming response how do we create a simple sales funnel for any business? Boom. So what do I do? A month later, I said, hey, as requested, here's the training on how to create a simple sales funnel for any business. And this allows me to serve them. And there was an overwhelming response from people that were like, this is exactly what we needed. How did you know? And I'm like, hmm, I took a guess, you know, but I knew because I asked. OK, so ask your people. They're the best source of feedback. 
So here's another example. I said, hey, I'm building out the next month, I'm sorry, next Marketing Solve program and I'd love your feedback. What would you guys benefit from the most? Take a second to share what you would be most interested in. And it was an overwhelming response, guys. 26 plus people said they wanted done for you monthly marketing schedule. And they added some additional options there, but guess what? What I did was I said, cool, a month later, I'm gonna put together a done for you monthly marketing that gives you that monthly marketing schedule, right? I found the source for my next program because they told me what they wanted the most. All right. So I hope you guys are starting to see the value in making those relationships with people and really finding out how best you can serve them. And this works no matter what you're selling, guys. It doesn't matter if you are selling products or services or high ticket or low ticket, it doesn't matter. Know the best way to serve your customers, your clients, and that is how you will start seeing some tremendous growth in your business, okay? So the seventh thing I did, and we're getting close to the end, so hang with me, was I created new products, all right? And this actually took me a second to think, um, think through and how we had really started to scale our business. So originally, and I talked about it a little, we created our first program in October. This is Go Social. I love this program. It's a super simple training. It's geared to teach small business owners how to use Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter. Those are my top four that I love to use. And since everyone was asking me how to do it, I said, hey, here's a program. Put everything together. I'll show you exactly how I market my business, how I market businesses for my clients, and I put it together in this program. But as you know, it didn't totally fly off the shelf as I anticipated. Um, It does now, (laughs) but originally it didn't. And when we were thinking about, okay, cool, we've got this one program. It's it was selling at 197, and now it's 297. It's totally worth it. Um, but we're like, how are we going to ten times our income? How are we going to grow? And then we said, you know what, we need to create more programs because if someone comes to you for one thing and they're like, oh, that's not really what I wanted. I wanted to learn how to grow my email list, then I'm like, oh, this program doesn't fit you. Sorry, have a nice day. Uh, And so I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to lose people. I want to serve. I have this overwhelming desire to give everybody everything they want as soon as they ask for it. And so that meant that we were going to create additional programs. And so that's what we did. So throughout the year, we created a variety of different programs. We added the pin funnel program which I had talked about so I had those those two programs running for a while Um, and then everybody wanted to know Facebook ads and just Facebook marketing. So maybe they weren't interested in the go social because it was just too much content. They can choose just Facebook or Facebook ads. The five day social media jumpstart guide, I love. It sells like hotcakes. It's my low ticket program. So it sells for $14 and it's actually action packed, ton of value, a ton of content and it sells really well. So then we introduced the Monthly Marketing Solved program, which is a monthly membership site, okay? And I I saved this one for last because I wanna talk about that for a second. So give me one sec. We created a bunch of different programs and we varied the price points. So we had the low buy-in of the five-day social media jumpstart guide at $14. And then we had, you know, ultimate Facebook ads and Facebook marketing at about $97. Go social was $197. It's increased as we added more content to it. So now it's $297. And then pin funnels was $397, just recently increased to $497 as we added new content to that as well. So we wanted to make sure we had a variety of different programs and different price points because this way when people were coming and looking for a solution, we had different solutions to offer them. So I hope when you're thinking of how can I create an additional revenue stream, what can you create? What else can you sell? Can you bundle some packages together? Can you bundle two programs together? Can you bundle two products together? Are you able to think outside of the box and how you can sell more products? Can you lower the price point? Can you introduce a new program? So really start to think of different ways that you can introduce new programs and products so that you have other things to offer people as well. 
So I'm going to take just a second and talk about the monthly membership. This was something that I wanted to do for a very long time. And it was one of those, how do I do it? People were telling me what they wanted. And I had this idea for the longest time, but I had no idea how to do it. Um, and so finally I said, you know what? I'm just going to create this monthly membership site and it's going to give them all of the content that anybody would need to market their business monthly online. It, I mean, it basically gives you everything you need without doing it for you. So the done for you aspect is we create all your content, we write all your social media statuses, we give you trackers and goal sheets and graphics and promotion schedules and a calendar on when and what you should be posting. I mean, we literally take all the guesswork out of what should I be doing to market my business this month? And we kept it at a low price point of $47 a month. And this was actually uh, not approved by my business coach. She said that that's way too low. You need to really increase the pricing because you're giving away so much. And I said, you know, I really just want to serve this audience and I'm comfortable with it. So I kept it low at $47. And what happened was it sold really, really well. Now, the cool thing about a monthly membership is that it's also a recurring monthly product. So what that means is that every single month, people that are enrolled in the program pay that $47 per month. And the following month, if you sell more people into the program, you're now generating more revenue per month and it continues to build on itself it's like a you know steps you know you start off with just a couple people the following month you get more people the third month you get more people and then you have a higher dollar amount recurring monthly so can you think about how maybe you could introduce some type of monthly recurring model in your business you know do you sell makeup could you put a bundle together where you say hey for twenty dollars a month or 50 or 40 or whatever you're comfortable with, I'll give you two brand new pieces of makeup every single month with a training tutorial on how to use it. You know, think outside of the box. What can you offer that's going to help you? Because what we did now is now we have the monthly marketing solve program with the recurring income per month. And then we have all of the additional product sales as well running on automatic automation funnels and so we have a significant foundation for a revenue stream that comes in every single month how does that sound guys does that sound like you could maybe use these strategies for yourself you want to introduce some new programs some new products maybe ask your audience what they're looking for so that you can provide that to them so i want you to to use what i did again and see how you can apply it to your business so again multiple programs we did multiple price points and we've also started adding some new really low price workshops so that we can start again serving a community that maybe doesn't have ten thousand dollars a month or five thousand or four hundred to invest in new programs we want to be able to serve our community at all price points and so that's why we've really thought outside of the box and how we can do that so stay tuned Okay, so we're finishing up here. And finally, I wanted to share this quote with you because again, this came from my business coach, Allison Maslin, and she says, you have to break down before you can break through. And that's exactly what happened to me at the end of 2015 when my program wasn't selling. I didn't know what I was doing. I had no how. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I didn't know how I was going to generate more revenue. And I really broke down. I got really down on myself. I thought, you know, maybe this isn't for me. Maybe my husband should just keep his job forever and we'll just, you know, live comfortably that way. Um, but then the, you know, the my subconscious said, you're absolutely crazy. Don't even think like that. You've got this. Figure it out. And I did. Um, but again, you had to break down before you can break through. And my breakdown was really at the Allison Maslin event. And that's where we blasted off. You know, we made the decision. We went to that event confused and unsure of how to move forward. And we walked away and said, no, we're breaking through the fear. And trust me, leaving a six figure cushy corporate job and selling your house is very scary to take that leap of faith on yourself. It's very, very scary. I um, mean, there are days now that I'm like, did we make, it doesn't matter how much money I have in the bank. And I still think, did we make the right decision? Oh my gosh, what if this doesn't work? Um, but we really had to break down before we could break through. 
And once you break through, it's only up from there. There's going to be ups and downs. There's going to be some times where you're like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not sure how to move forward. Uh, but just remember why you started. And I wanted to give you just a couple more tips on what we did during that, that breakthrough that helped us continue to break through. Um, and that's creating systems. You know, something again that I learned at the event was you need to create systems. You need to find ways to leverage your time. Uh, we outsourced. I actually have one of my dearest friends who now works with me in Marketing Solved and she helps me with the social media and it's been a freaking huge time saver for me and it's allowed me to grow. Um, strategic partnerships. You, again, I mentioned Allison Maslin, Tarlise Trainer, Kelly Fidel. These are three women that I've had the opportunity to work very closely with this year. And Kelly Fidel just had her No Glass Ceiling event where I was honored to be able to speak to her audience and speak on stage. Um, and same with Allison. I was able to speak to her audience earlier this year. Um, and Tarlise is just, I mean, she's awesome. So she, again, is one of those people that's helped me, you know, break through and continue to serve. Um, and then networking, you know, making referrals with people, letting people know what you do. When you go to events, so, and I'll use um, Allison Maslin, I'm dear, dear friends with many of the people I met there last January. We stay in touch. We exchange different ideas we mastermind and we talk about new strategies and ways to grow our business and we're in totally totally different industries but that network gives them someone to they can refer business to you you can refer business to them um, same thing at Kelly's event it was the same thing it was people were really wanting to connect and learn more about you and how you guys can partner together so networking strategic partnerships very very powerful to grow your business and then creating systems and outsourcing are going to leverage your time so i want you to think guys if you're still with me you totally deserve a gold star uh what can you do to triple your income this year what are some things that you can do after learning exactly what I did, what can you apply to your business? I'd really love to hear from you. So if you want to shoot me an email, make a post in the Facebook group, I really would love to hear any ideas that you are going to implement to grow your business. So can you create some new products? Can you find some new customers uh, using maybe a different platform? Maybe you need to try Instagram or Twitter instead of Facebook, or maybe you want to just do email marketing. You know, think outside of the box, do something different. Maybe you want to try webinars and you're not a chicken like me or live stream, which I'm still not going to do because video scares me. Uh, maybe those are some things you're going to try. Or maybe you want to try automation. See if that can free up your time so that you can interact and build more relationships or network or go to events or whatever it may be so really think about what you want to do um, but most importantly this is really where you're going to get the most out of what you're thinking is to write it down and make the decision and that's what I did January 2016 and that's the best thing that I did all year because I said no more we're gonna do it this way we are making the decision we're betting on us and it totally paid off so I really hope you enjoyed this training. I'll follow up and send out an email with all of the links to all of the resources for you. And if you do want to share with me anything that you've got out of this training, please post it in the Facebook group or send me an email. Thanks. I'm wishing you guys the best in the next year.